so at 34 degrees this is a great day to test what just arrived the mr heater little buddy heater little buddy so let's take our first look at it here it is i have uh hooked on a propane bottle put on the base on the side here it's very simple it has a uh, on button and an off button that's it no adjustments just on or off so let's turn it on the way you do it is you press that button hold it for a few seconds they say 30 and uh, then the heater will start to uh, glow and you're ready to go so I held it on and uh, as you can see there's a pilot light and uh, a flame is starting to uh, encircle this this uh, catalytic material here and it's beginning to glow although you probably can't see it too well I'll move it to a place where it's a little darker okay so now we can start to see it uh, begin to glow and that's essentially all it does. It's a radiant heater. There's no fan, no blower, uh, nothing like that. It's relying totally on uh, convection and radiant heat to warm the air inside the van. And yes, um, I can feel a little bit of warm air here. Uh, most of the warm air is above the heater up in this area here there's no fan nothing like that it's just relying on convection to do the work one thing to bear in mind is that this right here is a flame so we have combustion taking place inside the van why is that important well, that's important because along with the heat that it's creating, it requires air to burn. So I have to provide it with some input of air. That means I have to crack a window or get some air coming in the van. Well, that air is cold. So... I'm mixing cold air with the warm air already in the van. And the other thing is, I have combustion taking place. This is burning. It's burning propane. It's burning it inside the van. So the uh, byproduct of that is carbon monoxide. So... In burning the propane, warming the air in the van, I am also inhaling or exposed to carbon monoxide. Not much, because it's very efficient, but nevertheless, there is combustion taking place. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how enthusiastic I am with regard to all the things that the designers and manufacturers of the road track included in the road track. And one of them is a forced air furnace. Now we're going to take a look at that for a second. So here's the inside portion of the furnace. It's a suburban furnace. That's the brand name. And up here on the wall is the thermostat. That's the other interior part. 
Now we're going to go outside for a minute and I'm going to show you the outside. So on the outside of the road track is this metal uh, fixture with two holes in it. The bottom hole is the intake. The top hole is the exhaust. What does it intake? Well, it intakes fresh air from the outside. The top is the exhaust that exhausts the carbon monoxide filled air from the burning of the uh, propane inside the furnace. So as I step back inside the van, uh, I can smell uh, the burning of the propane from the little buddy heater. And uh, it's noticeable. I've turned the furnace on inside the van and hopefully you can hear over it. Uh, but it's blowing warm air right now and I've only, I only leave this on for maybe 10 minutes or so. The nice thing about it is in a very few minutes it's going to turn itself off because it will have reached the temperature that I have set on the thermostat. So like your furnace in your house, it can maintain a pretty good temperature. I'm using some power to do this from the battery. So how much power? Well, it's about 12.5 right now. Uh, so that's, that's fine. And as you can hear, the furnace just turned itself off. Now, <clears throat> at 34 degrees this morning, I ran the furnace for about 10 or 11 minutes, and it had the back of the van toasty warm. I mean, right now. I could sit right in front of it and the warm air was blowing right on me and warming me up, all, I won't say instantly, but within a very few minutes. The back of the van was very, very comfortable. Um, not so with the little buddy heater. If you don't have any heat in your uh, vehicle, then one of these Mr. Heater Little Buddy heaters would definitely give you some welcome heat in cold weather. On the other hand, I have the luxury, and I really consider it that, of having a forced air furnace Right here in my van, I have the equivalent of something that's in a, in a regular home. Right here in the van. I mean, this is really like a little tiny house, all miniaturized in this 19-foot van. I, I continue to just be amazed by it. But it, with a forced air furnace, I can heat this van in... 30 minutes to 70 degrees in 34 degree weather. Um, you know, freezing cold weather, essentially. At the same 34 degrees, I ran the Little Buddy heater for over an hour. Uh, when I went back and sat down on the bed with the Little Buddy heater on out in the kitchen area, I was, I was literally cold. 
um, the back of my head, the back of my neck was cold. It wasn't providing me with, with the kind of heat that would make, make the surrounding area comfortable. On the other hand, the forced air furnace is on the floor in the back and it blows the air out and up towards the front of the van so convection is is bringing the air into the living area of the van and if it's real cold and I want to just sequester myself back in the in the bedroom part of the van I can always uh, partition off the front part of the van and keep the back part even warmer. The Mr. Heater Little Buddy Heater has no thermostat. There's there's just off or on and that's handled manually. I would have to manually turn the heater off and on as needed. On the other hand, the forced air furnace uh, has a thermostat. So when the desired or set temperature is reached, the furnace turns itself off. Both the power and the propane are turned off. It cycles back on again when the temperature falls below the set temperature that I've set on the thermostat. And it does that automatically so I don't have to get up and fiddle with it. So the reason I showed you those ports on the outside was first of all to show you that they're on the outside and secondly to relate that to how a furnace works. It draws air, there's two boxes in a furnace. There's an inside box and an outside box or one box beside another box. Anyway, the, the two boxes work in conjunction. The fire box is where the fire takes place. Uh, fresh air comes into that firebox, it combusts with the, with the gas, creates heat, and then the byproducts of that are vented to the outside through that firebox. That's what that upper port is on the two ports on the side. The bottom is the fresh air coming in, the top is the um, burned air uh, going out. Now, the, the other box in a box, so to speak, is a heat exchanger. That's where the heat from the burner is directed to heat that inside box. Inside that box, fresh air comes in and is forced into the van by virtue of a fan. That's why it's called a forced air furnace, is because the air is being forced into the space by virtue of the fan. And as that warm air comes in near the, near the ground level or the floor level, it's, it's circulating because it's, it's being blown in. It's circulating with the existing air, which is cooler, and this warm air as it rises through, well, obviously it's going to have an effect of warming that air that's already in the van. And that process of forced air and then convection, this air mixing with the cooler air, creates a overall uh, warm environment by virtue of circulation. Uh, different from this Mr. Buddy radiant heater, which is just radiating heat out. Well, most of the heat radiates up. It's not mixing with any cold air on the bottom of the, or the floor level of the van. It's radiating uh, warm air up. As that warm air cools, it tumbles back down, but it only settles on top of the denser cold air. So you can't create circulation without uh, air movement, and the air movement uh, doesn't exist because it doesn't have a fan. Okay, so after all the technical stuff, 
um, I showed you that business with the furnace outside, the, the ports outside, um, so that you could see how the air is exchanged. The, the fresh air comes in from the outside, the, uh, the spent air or the burned air, the air with the CO and the, and the unburned uh, products in it, is exhausted outside the van. There's nothing burning inside the van. Uh, with the Mr. Heater Little Buddy Heater, that's not the case. As we saw, there's a flame, uh, there's burning taking place right here inside the van. And that means that uh, the products of combustion are present in the air in the van. Not so with the furnace, the forced air furnace that Road Trek installed. That's not the case. Uh, the, the products of combustion are exhausted outside, fresh air is drawn in and heated and then spread throughout the, uh, the coach or the van. And for me, that works better. Uh, it starts at the bottom. The warm air blows in in the bottom. It circulates and mixes with colder air in the van. And that process mixes cold and warm air much better and makes for a much more uh, comfortable environment, at least for me. Uh, Mr. Mr. Heater, Little Buddy Heater, relies on radiant heat and some convection. What winds up happening is the upper portion of the van gets warm, real warm. The middle portion, not so much, and the bottom portion, because the radiant heat doesn't work its way down, there's no way to force it down there, um, it stays cold. So where I am, where my feet are, where my legs are, is cold. Uh, so the lower half of my body is in cold air, while the midsection is in kind of warm air, and my head is kind of in the warmest air, obviously, because it's the highest thing. So uh, if I stand up, yeah, it's real warm up near the roof, but down near the floor, it's real cold. So there's, there's no real mixing of the air. Uh, the other thing is that the Mr. Buddy, Mr. Heater, Little Buddy Heater, is on or off. So I have to manually control it, turning it off, turning it on, etc. The forced air furnace in the road trek is um, controlled by a thermostat. It also has an on and off switch. But I can set a thermostat for, say, 65 degrees. The furnace will run until the thermostat senses 65 uh, degrees, and then it will uh, shut off. And if it cools down to where the thermostat senses that it needs to turn the furnace back on again, it'll turn it on and bring that temperature back up to around 65 degrees and then shut off. So it will cycle on and off automatically without my attention. Will I keep the uh, Mr. Heater Little Buddy Heater? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to give it a day or so and think about it. But my initial thought is probably not. I'll probably return it because I don't foresee myself using it. I, I just don't feel comfortable using it from the chemical standpoint and I feel like using the forced air propane furnace supplied with the road track is probably going to be a more efficient way to heat the road track for me. So if any of this was helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. If I didn't answer questions and need to, 
please comment and I'll do the best I can to try and answer your questions. And if you think this video might help somebody else, please share it with them. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Uh, I appreciate everybody that subscribes. It's very important to me to have uh, people subscribe and be notified when a new video comes out. And lastly, as always, comment as you see fit. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry it was so long, but one of those things, uh, a lot of moving parts in this video. So thanks for watching. See you later.